All right, guys, this is Curtis Alexander. I'm a pharmacist. In this video, I want to answer the question, can Tonkat Ali help increase testosterone? Um, in my opinion, there's been a lot of information coming out, particularly in the last year, especially in the last three months, where people are trying to sensationalize this whole thing. I'm going to look at it from just 35,000 foot viewpoint, look at the studies, what it can do, what it can't do. And at the end, just kind of give you my, my overall take and tips, okay? If you're interested in things like Tomcat that are natural, make sure to go to the description below. I have a free checklist of 11 natural therapies that I personally use and recommend as a pharmacist. So make sure to go grab that, okay? It's free. So here's what we know. Tomcat contains uropeptides. Now, uropeptides are important because what we think they do in your body is they help move pregnenolone to DHEA. They help that metabolize, metabolizing process. And I have other videos I'll post. I'll provide a link to those. Pregnenolone is your master hormone in your body. Okay. So it's very, very important. It's conversion to other hormones is very important. The other one that's important is progesterone, which can be converted to 4-androstenedione. And in this case, it can be converted to testosterone. We think Tomcat helps that process. Now, what about studies? Do we have actual evidence to support its use? Um, there's an interesting one. They, they compared three groups, okay? They, they had a group that they gave 100 milligrams a day to a group that they gave 200 milligrams a day, and then a placebo group. So they were getting the sugar pill. There was 35 people in each group. These were 50 to 70 year old men they had low testosterone, low testosterone is the total testosterone below 300. They were not obese, that's important. And they just took it once a day with breakfast. Here's what they found. So at the end of 12 weeks, the 100 milligram group saw their test total testosterone go from 187 to 203. Free testosterone also increased from 16.7 to 17.6. 200 milligram dose, they saw their total testosterone go even higher from 200 to 225. And their free testosterone increased from 14 to 16.4. Interestingly enough, in the placebo, their total testosterone dipped slightly, but their free testosterone increased slightly from 16.8 to 17.5. Now, here's the other interesting thing that I found that I haven't heard people mention. In the treatment groups, in the Tomcat groups, they saw their T3 go up. T3 is your active, your most active thyroid hormone. That's a good thing. They saw cholesterol go down and they saw cortisol levels go down. Now, I bring that up because when I talked about pregnenolone, and I did a video on this as well, people want more pregnenolone because it's converted into other hormones in your body. But for pregnenolone to even be made in your body, it requires T3. It requires T3 for cholesterol to get into your cell. It can make pregnenolone and then it can go to other hormones. So it's not surprising that we see T3 go up and then we see pregnenolone and progesterone made into your other hormones. And we also see, also see cholesterol go down because cholesterol is now getting into your cells and can be made into pregnenolone. So I found that really interesting. Also, the decrease in cortisol, which is a stress hormone, went down, which also facilitates this process. Interestingly, they also did a quality of life assessment, and they did see those improve in these men, okay? The bad thing about the study, they didn't control for diet, they didn't control for lifestyle or exercise. That's the knock, okay? Here's what I think. Here's my overall take on Tomcat. Do I think it can increase testosterone? We do have multiple studies. Yes, I do think it can. I think it's going to be a modest increase. It's, it's not like it's going to increase 100%. A um, couple points to keep in mind, a couple tips. It is better for low testosterone. And you're probably going, well, yeah, that's what this whole thing is about, is low testosterone. But there's groups of men, obviously, that maybe they have normal testosterone, but it's that low range or just flat out normal, and they want to see if they can increase it and feel better. The evidence we have to this point is that trying to increase testosterone if it's normal doesn't appear to be very effective. 
even at a higher dose of 300 milligrams. What we did see in studies is that you can use 600 milligrams if you have normal testosterone and you can see a bump. So you have to use much higher doses, but the bump that we saw wasn't substantial, okay? Um, the other thing that comes to mind is at that dose, are you going to see more side effects? And like I said, the bump that they saw even at that higher dose wasn't huge if these people had normal testosterone. Finally, I like the safety profile of Tonkat. It appears to be well tolerated. In the studies, if there was a side effect to be experienced, it tended to show up as stomach upset, um, but it wasn't an extremely high percentage. So bottom line, can it help increase testosterone? I do think it can. Um, I don't think it's going to be a monster increase, but it's definitely something worth talking to your doctor about. And I'll include a link in the description to the actual product that they used in this study. Um, maybe that's one if you and your doctor decide to try it, maybe that's one to look at. So um, I hope this video was helpful. Please let me know in the comments if you've tried Tomcat, if it was helpful. The feedback that I've gotten from men who've actually used it told me that they did feel noticeably better. I do hear that. Um, I'm not saying it's some sort of miracle thing, anything like that, but it does appear to be helpful for quality of life and modest increases in testosterone. Uh, the other thing, it wasn't used long term. We're talking 12 weeks of use and beyond that, we really don't know. So keep that in mind. Let me know in the comments if you've tried it. Um, I hope this helped you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.